So in ancient Babylon, a young scribe named Eliu sat by a river with a stick and a clay tablet. He drew circles in the sand, measuring them with a length of twine and a carved wooden ruler. No matter the size, big bowls, small coins, the number he got when dividing the circle's edge by its width was always a little more than three. Centuries later in ancient Greece, Archimedes stood in his workshop, spinning a wheel and drawing polygons inside it. Closer, he muttered, chalk dust on his fingers, but still not exact. With each added side, he trapped the circle tighter, chasing a number he couldn't quite catch. In faraway India, the monk Aryabhata scribbled formulas with an ink-dipped reed, and in China, Zhu Chongji etched numbers onto bamboo strips by candlelight, slowly pushing the mystery forward. They didn't know each other, but across time and distance, they all touched the same truth, a strange, endless number hiding in every coin, every bowl, every moon in the sky. Its name was Pi, and it never stopped unfolding.